I'm Stella Starfish. And I'm Carla Crabb. Today, we're going to be talking about tide pools. Tide pools are shallow pools of seawater that form in rocky shores along the ocean as tides come in and go out. The tide comes in and goes out twice a day. When the tide pulls out, it exposes all sorts of plants and animals that have been living underwater. Let's take a look through some of Maine's tide pools and see what we find. Hey, look, that's my friend, Sally Starfish. Sally is a Forbes sea star and I am a Northern sea star. Hi, Sally. Sally and I both have mouths on our underside and hundreds of tiny little tube feet that move us along the ocean floor in search of prey. Starfish eat mostly small animals, such as snails or mussels. And unlike people, if one of their arms comes off, they can grow it back. Ah! Claws! Don't worry, Stella. That's my brother, Carl. Carl and I are both green crabs. We eat mostly shellfish, such as oysters and clams. But we also like to eat some seaweed. We won't pinch if you don't bother us. Just keep those things away from my arms. Oh, come on. You'll just grow them back. There are lots of other animals you'll find in a tide pool, like hermit crabs, mussels, and snails. But tide pools don't just have animals. Seaweed is a vital piece of tide pool ecosystems. There are thousands of species of seaweed, but in a tide pool in Maine, you'll find mostly knotted rack, horsetail kelp, and bushy sea ferns. They provide safe places for animals to hide, as well as food. There is so much more to discover in Maine's incredible tide pools. But remember, look, don't touch. Don't hurt the wildlife. And be careful exploring. Wet rocks can be very slippery, and broken shells can be sharp. I think the tide is coming in soon. We'd better get going. Goodbye.